Do you know what are the rarest varieties of betta fish? Are you a betta fish lover looking for rare and exotic fish to add to your collection? Then you've come to the right place. In today's video, we'll be discussing the rarest and most unique betta fish breed types. So, without further ado, let's dive right in. Betta fish, also known as Siamese fighting fish, are known for their vibrant colors, elaborate fins, and aggressive behavior. They come in a wide range of colors, patterns, and tail types. Today, we'll explore the rarest and most unique betta fish that you can add to your collection. All the betta varieties mentioned in this video are based on my personal knowledge and the country I live in. The rarity and uniqueness of these varieties may vary for you. If you have a different opinion on any of the points in this video, please feel free to add your comment. Number 1. Orange Dalmatian. The orange Dalmatian betta fish will have a pale orange body and dark orange spots speckling the fins. This fish's appearance is reminiscent of the famous Dalmatian dog. However, what makes the orange Dalmatian betta fish so rare is that it's difficult to breed. Enthusiasts who are patient enough try and breed these fish from a red dragon and a solid orange betta. However, it takes a few generations to get it right. Orange Dalmatian betta fish is also known as Armageddon or Vanda betta fish in some countries. It's important to note that these fish may take longer to reach their full beauty, with most reaching their prime between 6 to 8 months or 1 year of age. Breeders of these fish also have a high risk of losing their fins or getting sick before they can be sold. Number 2. Green betta fish. Green betta fish do not exist in their true form. However, there are betta fish that appear to be green but they are actually turquoise in color. Turquoise betta fish are highly sought after by enthusiasts due to their unique and beautiful coloring. Their scales have a metallic sheen that can range from blue-green to blue-violet, making them a stunning addition to any aquarium. Turquoise betta fish are not easy to find, and they are considered a rare coloration. Number 3. Albino betta fish. Albino betta fish are considered so rare that some betta keepers do not believe they exist. The defining characteristic of these fish is their lack of pigmentation, which makes them appear translucent with either pink or red eyes. Albino betta fish have no color on their bodies, fins, or tails, making them stand out from other types of betta fish. A white betta fish has an opaque white body, which is often mistaken for an albino betta fish. The white opal betta fish is not the albino betta fish. Animals with albinism are more expensive to trade. The world's most expensive ball python was an albino and sold for a whopping $40,000. An albino betta fish should not cost you that much. However, keep in mind that due to their rarity and the fact that they cannot be bred, they will likely be at a much higher price. Also, albino betta fish come with a high risk of health problems and a shorter lifespan. They are commonly known for skin cancer and blindness, making it unlikely for them to reach adulthood. Number 4. Gold betta fish. One of the rarest and most impressive varieties of gold betta fish is the 24K gold betta. These fish have a beautiful metallic gold body that glimmers in the light, and their fins are also a stunning gold color. As they grow and mature, their coloration may change slightly, but they will always retain their eye-catching golden hue. Keeping a 24K gold betta in your freshwater aquarium is sure to add a touch of elegance to your setup. Often people think that gold betta fish are just yellow betta fish with different camera lights. In reality, the genetics of gold betta fish can be complex and may involve various color genes, including yellow. Number 5. Fantail betta. The fantail betta is a rare and highly sought-after variety of betta fish. These fish have two caudal fins that are side by side but fused at a small point at the top. This gives them an attractive appearance resembling a fantail goldfish and a graceful swimming style. The fins are typically whiter and rounder than those of other betta varieties, and their colors can vary widely, from solid colors to intricate patterns. It takes a lot of skill and patience to breed betta fish with the unique traits that define the fantail variety. Additionally, the demand for these fish is high, so they can be quite expensive to purchase. Some sources claim that they could be sold at auction for around $5,000. This rarity makes the fantail betta the ultimate goal for betta collectors and enthusiasts. In my 20 years of keeping and breeding betta fish, I've never seen a fantail betta fish in person. I would have been a millionaire by now if I had been able to breed and create fantail betta babies. Number 6. 
Fluorescent betta fish, glowfish betta. Fluorescent betta fish, also known as glowfish betta, are genetically modified betta fish. This was achieved by extracting green fluorescent protein, GFP, from jellyfish and inserting it into zebrafish larvae. Over time, this technology was further developed to produce red, yellow, and orange fluorescent betta fish. Many countries, including Thailand, do not import or export glow betta fish as they could potentially harm the environment. They acknowledge and support the importance of preserving the beauty of betta fish and the ecosystem and are grateful for the support of their patrons. Glow betta fish have a poor immune system and a short lifespan, and many pet keepers report that they get sick often and die within the first 6 to 12 months of ownership. Number 7. King Crown Tail Betta. The King Crown Tail Betta is considered the rarest type of crown tail betta fish. One of the key differences between the King Crown Tail and other crown tail betta species is the shape of its caudal fin, which has a crossray pattern that forms a crown like shape. This is in contrast to other crown tail betta species whose caudal fins are typically more straight in shape. Due to its unique and striking appearance, the King Crown Tail Betta is highly prized among hobbyists. However, its rarity also means that it may be more difficult to find and may be more expensive than other types of crown tail betta fish. Number 8. Giant Betta Fish. The giant betta fish is a selectively bred strain of betta fish that is larger in size than the average betta fish. Unlike regular betta fish, which typically grow to be around 2 to 3 inches in length, the giant betta can grow up to 4 to 5 inches in length, and in some cases even bigger. It is recommended to keep giant betta fish in an aquarium that is at least 10 gallons in size, with plenty of hiding and swimming space. Another difference is that giant betta fish tend to have a more docile and peaceful temperament compared to normal betta fish. While betta fish are known for their territorial behavior and aggression towards other males, giant betta fish are generally more tolerant. They can be kept with other peaceful fish species. Number 9. Butterfly Crown Tail. The butterfly crown tail betta has a similar appearance to other crown tail betta fish, with the distinctive spiky appearance of its fins. However, the key difference lies in the pattern on its fins. The butterfly pattern is achieved through selective breeding and is characterized by a solid color base with striking contrasting colors on the edges of the fins. Although butterfly tail patterns are relatively common on half-moon betta fish, they are considerably rare on crown tails and look more appealing. As you can see from this video, this betta variety has a distinctive pattern on its fins, showing at least two colors on the spiky caudal fins. Number 10. Alien Betta Fish. Alien betta fish is a popular hybrid variety of betta that has been gaining a lot of attention in the world of aquariums. They are an unusual combination of wild species and domestic betta, making them a favorite for many betta lovers. Alien betta fish have different undertones that cause their skin to develop luminous colors that seem to change when seen from different angles. Often, alien betta fish are called wild betta fish, but this is a slight trick on the part of dealers and breeders to sell them. Alien betta fish aren't found in the wild. The quality of an alien betta is classified by the vibrancy and uniqueness of its colors, the symmetry of its fins, and the overall health and vitality of the fish. Alien betta fish are particularly popular in blue or gray colors. These fish often have a black or dark brown body with a metallic sheen and a unique pattern. In addition, full green alien betta fish with metallic scales are also quite common. Copper alien betta fish have a coppery pattern as well. I'm curious to know what cool betta fish varieties you've owned so far. Don't forget to tell me in the comments. Number 11. Betta macrostoma. Betta macrostoma, also known as Brunei Beauty, is a popular betta species prized for its large size and bright colors. It is often considered the holy grail of betta fish. One of the distinguishing features of this fish is its big mouth, as macro in Latin means big and stoma means mouth. Betta macrostoma can be kept in pairs without any issues. Once a pair is established, they will live together peacefully. If you're lucky, they may even breed spontaneously without any additional effort. Because their natural environment typically lacks plants and has fast-flowing water in small streams and pools, they do not build bubble nests. Instead, mouth-brooding betta fish have developed a way to hatch their eggs in their mouths and protect their fry. Number 12. Rosetail betta fish. The rosetail betta is characterized by an increase in the number of branches in the dorsal, caudal, and anal fins. 
This gives them a ruffled or feathery appearance, and when the fins are spread open, the dorsal and caudal fins overlap, resembling the petals of a rose. Breeding rosetail betta fish into a line will result in a higher percentage of rosetails in the following generation. Therefore, caution should be used when selecting a rosetail for breeding. In addition to the D-shaped caudal fin and extreme branching, the ideal rosetail betta should have good overall balance in the finnage and should appear proportionate. The scales should be symmetrical, and the fish should be able to swim well. Rosetail betta fish have negative traits that often hinder their ability to swim well. Their dorsal and ventral fins are often undersized and out of balance and their grow-out rate is slow. Number 13. Betta palafina. Betta palafina is one of the largest wild betta species, reaching up to 4 inches in length. While less colorful than other species, it displays stunning blue-green hues on its flanks and fins, with snake-like blue-green scales covering its cheeks. Betta palafina is a mouth-brooding species, easily identified by its large mouth, which allows it to hatch eggs and fry, as well as consume larger prey like small fish and shrimp. Pairs or groups of betta palafina can be kept in a long and wide tank to allow for hiding and territory establishment. It is not recommended to keep tank mates with betta palafina, as they can be territorial and aggressive. Number 14. Galaxy betta fish, new strain. The Galaxy betta fish is a popular variant of the betta splendens, known for its unique appearance resembling a galaxy of stars. The breeders named it so because of the scattered iridescent scales of the betta fish that look like a galaxy of stars in the night sky. The red, black, blue galaxy gold placket is a unique strain of galaxy betta that has a red base with a gold koi spot. Males of this species are known to be territorial and aggressive towards each other, so they must be kept alone, but females can be kept in groups. The Galaxy Betta has become very popular on the market due to its unique and gorgeous appearance. Although there are variations in their dragon-like or metallic scaling, the flashy star-like pattern on their body is a defining trait. Number 15. Avatar Half Moon. The question of who first succeeded in breeding the Avatar Betta fish is one that has caused much amusement over the years. The name Avatar was actually created by customers who saw the fish's unique color and immediately thought of the famous movie Avatar. This resulted in a popular phrase known as blue-black Avatar or dark blue Avatar. Today, Avatar betta fish remains a popular and highly sought-after fish due to their stunning and unique appearance. The half-moon strains of Avatar betta fish have been gaining popularity compared to the placket variety, which was previously in high demand among betta fish enthusiasts. Recently, I came to know that a rare Avatar Half Moon Betta fish was sold at an auction in Thailand for over $700. In Asian countries, this is a remarkable price for a betta fish. Number 16. Candy Koi Betta. Koi Betta fish that exhibit candy like colors are commonly referred to as Candy Koi Betta fish. These types of betta fish can be found in various colors, including black, red, blue, and yellow, which makes them look like candy treats. Because they resemble sorbets and ice cream, some people refer to them as ice cream betta fish. There are three base layer colors of red, orange, and yellow that make candy koi betta fish unique. Black is an optional color that may or may not be present. In order to be considered a true candy koi betta, the fish's coloration must contain at least five colors. This ensures that the fish has a strong base layer and intricate patterns or lacing, which are the defining characteristics of the candy koi betta. Number 17. Rare Solid Colors. Solid colored betta fish in shades of orange, yellow, and white are relatively rare, particularly the half moon variety. The genetics of these betta fish can result in a range of hues, from light to dark tones of each solid color. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more exciting content about betta fish, please consider subscribing to our channel and hitting the like button. This will help us create more quality content for you to enjoy. Hopefully, you'll find one of these amazing betta fish in your local pet store or online retailer to make them swim in your personal tank. Thank you for watching and supporting our channel.